on that third row with the two Leopard Hondas. Jauma Massey then, your World Championship leader. You can see these pre-race shots here. The tension is building with five riders firmly in contention for the championship. You feel Ivan Ortola's recent slumpers dumped him out of championship contention. The Spanish rider has slipped 65 points now uh, behind series leader uh, Jauma Masia. He's having a bit of a tough time, isn't he, right now, uh, Ivan Ortola. He's only qualified top six in one of the last nine. Although, to be fair to him, Philip Island last weekend was his first DNF since the opening Grand Prix in Portimao. But the fact, Lewis, is he's not had a podium in 12 since that Spanish Grand Prix win in Areth. That's what's putting a massive dent in his title challenge right now. Yeah, his only two career podiums have been those two wins that he took back to back earlier in the season. Matteo Batelli heads the fifth row of the grid. Patelli's been a pretty handy qualifier in recent times, although he did actually, for the first time, convert that into a good result on the Sunday in Phillip Island when he equaled the best results of his career when he came across the line in ninth place. He's joined on that fifth row by Joel Kelso, looking to build on his first career podium a week ago. So four points splitting this man, Ayuma Sasaki, second the championship behind Jauma Masia, who leads the series 100 points, still left to fight for. Sasaki on the front row in 2023 for the 10th time this season. Diogo Moreira created history, of course, in Mandalika, the first ever Brazilian to win a lightweight world championship race. But can Dennis the Menace, Master Buram, to fire some more momentum his to his Moto3 world championship charge? The Turk takes pole here in Thailand. Four races remain in the race for the Moto3 World Championship. Dennis Onchu looking to try and keep his hopes alive from pole position with Yoga Moreira and Ayumi Sasaki completing the front row. Yusei Yamanaka starts from the front of the second row in fourth ahead of Colin Fire and Tayo Furusato. All three of them chasing a first Grand Prix pole. Podium. Jam Amasia after an earthly, early birthday present. He turns 23 on Tuesday. Seventh for him from Adrian Fernandez and Jose Antonio Rueda, who turns 18 today. David Munoz heads the fourth row of the grid from two other title chasers, Danny Holgado and David Alonso. Matteo Batelli starts 13th from podium finisher a week ago, Joel Kelso and Stefano Nepa, who was on the front row a week ago. Ivan Artola, Ricardo Rossi and Nicola Carraro are on the sixth row. That was Carraro's first Q2 appearance since returning to the class. Xavi Artigas, Cyrus Dean Asman and Josh Watley on row seven from Kaito Tova, Vicente Perez and Filippo Farioli. Mario Aggi and Scott Ogden start alongside tie rider Tachikon Boazri while carding at his home Grand Prix from 20.